Hi guys, we're back in the kitchen today because it is dark and grey and rainy outside and I am not complaining because I love autumn, but it does limit the places that I can actually film in natural light. So here we are. haul and a little bit of an extra thing as well. Um, so I went to Home Bargains recently, I discovered that there's a massive Home Bargains near me, didn't even know it was there, it was like a wonderland. I thought Home Bargains was a bit naff, truth be told, I've been to a couple near me and I'm just like, it's just kind of cleaning stuff, occasional bits, like Poundland is what it's like for me. Um, it's just not that fantastic and it's got like some food and drink and all of that as well, but it, I wasn't seeing any of these amazing things people were seeing in home bargains. Then Ella pointed out to me, that's my 16 year old daughter, she pointed out there was one close by that she'd been with her grandma and game changer. So I went specifically for one thing, which was this. I'm so excited I actually got this. I, in fact, I was so excited to see it that I bought one for my neighbour as well because I thought it's one of those things, you buy it while you see it. Um, and they were already going, I think this was three pounds I wanna say. Four pounds max, but I think it was three. And they're only going for like 15, 20 pounds on eBay, which is nuts. But if you saw this in like Debenhams or something, this could easily sell for 20 pounds. It's a sweet jar. I just think it's really cute. You could just put something decorative in it, like potpourri or something like that. But I think I'm actually gonna put sweets in it. Um, and I'm trying to collect some kind of less, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna say tacky because Halloween is a tacky holiday, so is Christmas. You can just choose which way you want to go. Tacky isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a decorative choice. And I want to go kind of more um, homeware Halloween decor rather than party Halloween decor, you know? Like faces on pumpkins. I think that's probably where you draw the line between what is kind of home decor and what is like party. Again, nothing wrong with either. I'm just kind of going more with the subtle pumpkins. And so a glass see-through pumpkin that you can do anything with, absolutely amazing. I also, very briefly, I did go to Poundland today and I picked up these. I did um, a Derma V10, I wanna say, like a Derma thing. It was like a pound from Cherries, I think it was. I got this foot mask and it was supposed to peel your feet. And I thought, there's no way this is gonna work. I've tried those Footner ones in the past and they're like 10 pounds. I've tried other ones that are cheap and they don't do anything. This is peeling my feet like nothing else. And so I've got, cause I feel like I'm kind of coming to the end of it. I've got an exfoliating, ooh. I'm looking now, I'm thinking I've made a mistake. I think I've made, I think this is the same thing. Yeah, no, this is the same thing again. So I can't use this now. Cause it said starts working within seven to 10 days. Um, no, I thought it was just like an exfoliating mask, but it's actually one of those peeling masks. So I'll save that for another time. But I also got a deep moisturizing one as well. I just need to soak my feet a few more times, get the rest of the, this is gross, I apologize, but get the rest of the dead skin off. And then I can kind of buff my feet, moisturize them, and they'll be good as new. So I went into home bargains, not really knowing what to expect, hoping that I'd find the glass pumpkin. And honestly, it was a complete revelation. I have heard people talk about this. I just thought everything was a bit naff. The ones that I'd been to were so rubbish. I understand now why people love home bargains and it is so much cheaper than B&M. B&M have hiked up their prices since they've become so popular. And I was walking around there with my entire family and I'm sure they thought I was crazy because I was like, look how cheap this is. If this was in B&M, it would have been double the price. So just throwing it out there, if you actually haven't checked, if you've got a home bargains near you that is a decent size, you might prefer it to be in them. Um, I just got a few things, not a lot of stuff, but I, I kind of just wanted to make a video about pumpkin, to be quite honest. I got the Febreze Cedar and Oak Air Mist because, you know, autumn. I was looking for one that wasn't Christmas specific. I'm trying. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's sweet. I really, really like that. That's kind of like, ooh, like a sweet wood scent. That is gorgeous. It reminds me of like an aftershave. Oh, do you know what? It reminds me a little bit of Boss Bottled, which I love. I think that might be the cedar note in it. I'm trying to break it down and celebrate the individual seasons. I'm a Christmas girl, but still. Um, this, it's been everything I can do not to open this because I've had such a terrible pain in my neck and my back this week. Um, but I got myself a new lavender heat wrap because the last one I had is just kind of falling apart. This is just one of those microwaveable wheat bag things. 
um, which is great if your problem is kind of neck and shoulders, which mine is, because you can just wrap it around your neck while you're working, which is fantastic. So I'm already excited. But as soon as I finish this video, I'm putting this in the microwave. I got two bath and body things, um, a foot scrubby thing for obvious reasons. Um, I had another one of these and I cannot tell you how bad it smelled. <laughs> I had to throw it away. It, maybe it had been left in the water for too long and it was like going moldy from the inside. It wasn't the foot thing, I'm certain. It was the sponge itself. I was just smelled horrible. I don't, I don't know. But it doesn't, it's hard. It's not like a soft sponge. It looks like it would be, but it's not. And even in water, it stays rough. This is a really, really effective way of buffing your feet if you're into that kind of thing. And then I got um, an exfoliating back thing because I had another one that was white and it was like a nylon-y material. And again, that got really, really gross. I might be revealing too much. I got this Olivia Hale BB cream and I got it because the packaging looked nice, to be completely honest. I thought we'd do a little test of this this month since it's Budget Beauty Month. Um, although, to be honest, I've got so much stuff, to be honest, I'm picking up my children's verbal tics. Milo's favorite thing to say is, I'm gonna be honest, as if he's always lying until he says that. Um, I'm not sure about this, this is, this is definitely too deep for me, but we'll give it a go. I've, I've got so many things that I want to test out this month and I'm just not getting around to them. So I think we're just going to extend into October the budget beauty content. Um, not that I don't try to put it in across the whole year, but you know. Okay, I mean, the product might not be all that bad, but it, it's a little warm for me. This is going to be, yeah. And this was the lightest one. I was going to say and the last thing, but the last thing is the box that this is in. Um, I got some reasons. Do you remember these? If you're about my age, do you remember the um, adverts? Because I remember, there's always a reason for a chocolate chew, but my husband doesn't remember that. They are delicious. They kind of remind me of, if you remember, Roses used to do something called, it's called Dark something, like Dark Paradise, Dark, it's like, Oh, Brazilian darkness. So I was like, it's coming to me, Brazilian darkness. It's not quite the same because that was more malted, but kind of the same. It's like a chocolate covered, um, it might, I don't know if it's a chocolate toffee. Dark chocolate chewy toffee. It, can, it does remind me of that for sure. Um, but these are super nostalgic because I remember having these as a child. I remember them being new and exciting. Okay, then I got this. Um, this wooden box, I realise I haven't told you any prices because I don't remember any of them and nothing's got a price on it. But I got this wooden box for the bathroom because we keep our, um, we've got like a little unit next to our sink in the ensuite and it's just like everything falls over all over the place. We've got a tiny, tiny sink and we put our toothbrushes on there and it all is just a mess. And I want a little box so that everything can stand up in here and if it falls over, it's not that big of a deal, but it also keeps everything off the sink side. Um, and it's kind of nice enough, it's like, honestly, it feels like balsa wood. It's not a very substantial wood, but hmm, I think it was three pounds and it's just for the bathroom. So that's everything that I got. Like I say, not loads of stuff, but I mostly wanted to tell you that this is available. Hopefully it's still available where you are and to have a look and just see where your local, um, I always want to say B&M, but Home Bargains is, and you too may be impressed by them in the way that I was, in a way that is unexpected. Um, and I will be back on Friday with another, probably, foundation review. Bye! <laughs>